A few days after their son was posthumously awarded the Kirti Chakra, India's second highest peacetime gallantry award, his parents have called for changes to the Indian Army's next of kin policy. This policy provides financial assistance to the families of deceased army personnel. I am talking about Captain Anshuman Singh, who tragically lost his life in a fire incident in Siachen in July last year. I am Vishal Upadhyay and you are watching India TV. Today we will understand what the Army's next of kin regulation says and what changes Captain Anshuman Singh's parents seek. In a recent interview, his parents Ravi Pratap Singh and Manju Singh expressed their concerns. They mentioned that after their son's death, his widow Smriti Singh moved out and now receives most of the entitlements. They said all they have left is a picture of their son hanging on the wall. Now the question is what NOK rules say. The term next of kin refers to a person's spouse, closest relatives, family members or legal guardian. Initially, a cadet or officer's parents or guardians are listed as NOK when they join the army. However, once they get married, their spouse becomes the NOK according to army rules. This means that in the event of their death, the ex gratia amount is given to the spouse. Now, what are the concerns raised by the captain Anshuman Singh's parents? Speaking to a media channel, Ravi Pratap Singh said, the criteria for NOK are not right. I have spoken to Defence Minister Rajnath Singh about this. Anshuman's wife no longer lives with us. Their marriage lasted just five months and they had no children. We only have a photo of our son with a garland on it. He added, we want the definition of NOK to be revised. It should take into account whether the wife of martyr stays with the family and the level of dependency each member has. Captain Anshuman Singh's mother also urged the government to reconsider the NOK rules to prevent other parents from suffering similarly. What are your thoughts on this? Do let us know in the comments and keep watching India TV for more updates.